Lyme disease continues to be a growing concern as cases rise across the globe. That's right. Researchers are now seeking volunteers to test out the first vaccine to combat the disease. Michael George is here with more on the vaccine. Michael. Elaine, Tanya, this vaccine could be a game changer, potentially helping prevent half a million people from getting Lyme disease every year. Now, it still needs to be proven effective, but the early indications are encouraging. When Robert Terwilliger heard about a study testing a vaccine for Lyme disease, he rolled up his sleeve. He enjoys hunting and hiking. I'm hoping it works this way. I, I won't have no worries, you know. I can go out in the woods and enjoy myself, and, and if I find a tick on me, I'm, okay, I'm good. I don't have to worry about anything, you know, because um, it, it's always a worry. U.S.-based Pfizer and a French biotech company developed the experimental vaccine known as VLA-15, which aims to block a tick from transmitting the infection when it bites. It's a vaccine that's designed to prevent Lyme disease caused by the six most common types of, um, of Lyme bacteria um, in both the U.S. and Europe. Deer ticks carry the bacteria that causes Lyme. Symptoms include fever, headache, fatigue. For some, the first sign is a red, round bullseye rash. Infection can spread to joints, the heart, and the nervous system if not treated. CDC estimates suggest around 476,000 people get Lyme disease each year in the U.S. Researchers hope to enroll at least 6,000 people in areas where Lyme disease is common, such as the Northeast. Volunteers can be as young as five years old. Ever since we learned of this trial several months ago, we've had people on a waiting list waiting to be notified. So absolutely, we have people who are interested. In earlier studies, the companies reported a good immune response and no problems with safety. The next phase will test if the vaccine is effective and safe. So what happens next? Well, participants in the trial will get three doses between now and the spring, then a booster shot a year later. Wow, Michael. So if this vaccine proves to be effective, how soon until it's available to the public? Because both Elaine and I want to get in line. We're in line. Well, yeah. unfortunately, it does take a long time. This particular trial, it's the final stage, but that'll take till at least 2024, and then it has to go through the approval process at the FDA. Still right. very promising to hear it. Absolutely. Indeed. Michael George, thank you.